Now let's add another library called Glide Slider. So we need to use Glide and Glide Slider in order to display the slider uh, images as a, a view pager or slider images uh, on the home page. We copy or we go to the GitHub and search for Glide Slider. And this slider is uh, based on and uses uses the uses the Glide library that we have uh, seen before in the previous videos in our course, and we paste the Maven URL at the level of the project uh, of the news app, and let's copy the dependencies here and paste it at the level of the app okay I will paste it here and this is for slider and glide okay so uh, I like to make comments um, in order to understand which library uh, and what we are going to do and what we have done in the code. So <clears throat> uh, if you want to download the source code, it is available on our Udemy course and the resources under each uh, uh, video. So there is a source code for uh, under each video or section for the whole app and the project. So I, I will add the permissions here. I will add it. And um, <clears throat> in the manifest, and in order to ensure that everything is working fine, I will add the read external storage and the internet because we are going to fetch data from the internet and I will edit this 4.11 4.11 this is the latest client library version okay everything is working fine now this is our main activity And under the linear layout that contains the card view and the recycler view, I will create a new one of type slide slider glide. Okay. <clears throat> and this layout will contain the slider of images that will be displayed for the user at the home page and having width as match parent and height as 200 dp okay i will give it an id slider and uh, I will close it remove this it will should be closed as this okay everything is working fine <clears throat> Let me start to initialize at the main activity our uh, widgets. We start by a slider layout. And I will create a method called initialize views. This, this method is for initializing the views. Okay, 
<clears throat> Slider layout equal find view by ID R dot ID dot slider. Okay. Everything or the hour inside the slider is working fine. Now Later on, we are going to add the data inside this slider layout uh, by using a method. Now, let's add some images and data to test our slider layout. We will add later on the images from internet, but till now, let's add locally these images. I will copy these images that I have prepared before. These are uh, these videos are available on uh, our YouTube channel and uh, on U Udemy course. These thumbnails of these videos, like this, the third image and the fourth image. Okay, these are the thumbnail of uh, thumbnails of our videos. Okay, now. Later on, we are going to fetch the data from internet, but till now, just I'm telling you in order to understand what we are doing, we are testing the images and the slider uh, locally. So I'm getting the images in slider from our storage and inside of, uh, from our app, not from internet. Okay, so I will create a method called add images to slider. I will create a list of integer because the, uh, the images inside the drawable folders are stored as integers. So Android Studio uh, understand the images as integers. And <clears throat> I'm making a list of integers called image images. And inside these images, I'm going to add uh, four images. Image one, two, three, and four. Okay. These are from the drawables. Three and four. Now I will create a for loop for int i equal to zero, i less than images dot or equal images dot size and i plus plus default slider view i will add these images uh, list to our uh, a slider so every element inside this list will be added to our default slider view I have created default slider view passing context for its parameter and default slider view dot set request option new request option dot center crop default slider view dot image images dot get i and default slider view dot set on, cl on slider click listener i will make a new click listener for this base slider view dot slider click listener on slider click i'm handling it so we are going to make this uh, this uh, click on the slider uh, active later on in order to display the details of the click the news or the click article till now i will keep it uh, empty and last thing is go making the slider layout start auto cycle slider layout this auto cycle will uh, make the images started to be displayed and cycled automatically without making 
uh, any changes or allowing the user to slide. So slider layout dot start auto cycle will make uh, it is automatically to, to be scrolling the images <clears throat> and set preset transformer slider dot transformer dot stack they are uh, the, this, the transformation of images would be like stacks and making the duration for displaying uh, the image as three seconds or three thousand milliseconds remember uh, uh, the units are in milliseconds so you need to display it uh, or put your data in or passing the time in milliseconds and last is making the set preset indicator slider layout dot preset indicators dot right button okay <clears throat> this is for setting the slider options everything is making uh, uh, everything is uh, going to be work fine uh, just uh, in case uh, our some uh, devices is having uh, errors on stop so if you have uh, quit the up the or stop the application you quit the application we need to stop the slider so i have added on stop method okay i will remove the equal sign from images and let's start running our emulator please uh, rate us five stars in udemy so you help us making new videos and new courses and enlarge this course more and more and uh, on your uh, youtube subscribe to our youtube channel master code okay and you can download everything from our uh, application master coding application available on play store now I've added slider layout dot add slider and I passed the default slide a slider view and here we go guys this is our slider layout it is automatically scrolling the images within three seconds between the two images okay everything is working fine and congratulations we have make and a professional uh, slider view now uh, let me uh, change the theme and remove the toolbar um, we are fetching the data now from local so the drawables these are the images that we have received and been displaying on our slider now we are going to uh, fetch the data from the server and fetch the data from internet later on on the next videos okay now let me um, make some edits for the layout so i'm going to change the theme and remove the toolbar i will go to values themes and themes.xml and here we will remove no action bar and now let's run and see and there we go we have now a, a, a nice application